Railroad workers could soon walk off the job later this week. And that, well, it could cause a huge interruption in the supply chain. The agriculture, energy, and automobile industries could all be affected. News Channel 5's Hannah McDonald explains how. They need workers on a certain schedule, and so the companies have fairly demanding schedules. Trains roll around the clock in Tennessee, but in days, a dispute between rail workers and freight companies could bring everything to a full stop. What the industry seems to report is that the unions are very concerned about how workers are called in, on what basis they can be called to work. Lipscomb University business professor Andy Borchers is a supply chain expert. Trains transport more than a quarter of the country's goods. A strike would be problematic because some materials can't easily be transported another way. Things like rock, uh, coal, uh, big bulk areas, also chemicals, uh, oil and chemicals. Uh, in, in are transported that way. 90,000 rail workers on strike is about the last thing the economy needs after years of supply chain issues. We had a risk of a West Coast dock workers strike that got averted. Now we have the railroad workers that potentially could uh, come into bear. Uh, so there's always a new story and supply chain people have no end of work. Before backlogs at shipping ports last year, many people didn't understand the complexities of the supply chain. Here at Lipscomb, students may be part of the solution. Automobiles got 10,000 parts. You miss one part, you can't build the vehicle. Uh, and so there's a lot of considerations here in supply chains. They're very complicated. This rail strike could start on Friday, in the middle of the harvest season, only a few months from the holiday season. There'll be a variety of products that will be affected, and we may not even know for sure exactly which ones those are uh, until uh, the breakdown happens. In Nashville, Hannah McDonald, News Channel 5. Thanks, Hannah. There are 12 railroad labor unions. The two largest are asking railroad carriers for better vacation, attendance, and sick day policies for their workers.